Uh, hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and I've been using the AirPods Pro for the past week or so. I've used them every single day, not only to just listen to music, but to edit and even to sleep a little bit. And I've had to recharge them a couple times, so I've been through quite a few cycles of use with these. So I wanted to help you decide if you should pick some up and if they're right for you. Now the first thing is comfort. I actually find them quite comfortable. So this is the right earbud, and it just sits in your ear like this and I find that it sits in there very comfortable. I have no problems with it falling out. In fact, I didn't have any issues with AirPods 2 with the same thing. So if you take a closer look, you'll see that it sits in my ear very nicely. Now, this could vary depending on who you are, of course, but for me, I find that it's just something that I really don't even know that they're there once I found the right size of the ear tip and the ear tips are interchangeable so you can change them i have no issues with them whatsoever and when they're in transparency mode since these are noise canceling but they also have the transparency mode i almost feel like they're not there it passes through sound so well and it's well vented that it doesn't make your head feel like it's stuffy or plugged up so that's something i haven't seen before a lot of the vents on it seem to be very much to help with that and they work really well that way i find them to be the most comfortable earbuds that i've ever worn now to control them you have a little button at the bottom and the button is pretty interesting because it makes a click but it almost feels like you're clicking a real button because it tricks your ear when you click on it it's a little click almost like one of those aluminum clickers if you've ever seen those before you just press on it it makes that clicking sound and every time you click it it does something different so if you press and hold it you can get noise canceling if you press and hold it again you can get transparency depending on how you set it up so right now it's in transparency mode and i'm hearing the wind around me and i'm hearing myself speak but if i press and hold it again i can't hear anything it cuts out all of the wind and it does a really good job at noise cancellation i wouldn't say it's as good as the over the ear earbuds such as the or the the earphones or headphones such as the bose quiet comfort i'd say these aren't that level but they do a very very good job now with the control not only can you press and hold it to get transparency or to noise cancel but you can also press it once to play press it once to stop press it twice and you can go to the next track press it three times you can go back now unfortunately there are no volume controls so you can't swipe up or anything like that and apple has not put that in there in fact you have to use siri if you want to bump the volume up or bring it back down so that's something that i don't really like about it but most of the time i'll just use my phone anyway to do that or my mac or ipad whatever i'm connected to and it will connect seamlessly to all of those now the actual sound is definitely better than the airpods 2 and that's mostly because they seal in your ear and they have more pronounced bass so the bass that wasn't there with the airpods 2 is now there with the airpods pro so i really like the sound of these for just the convenience of them i'm not going to put them in the audiophile category by any means i have definitely heard better sound and i'll do a separate comparison with the power beats pro because those are a completely different experience but these are super nice at not only noise cancellation but also they have just enough clarity that i'm pretty happy with them i wouldn't say there's incredible separation the highs mids and lows are very similar to what you hear on airpods or the original airpods but you do get that more pronounced bass and everything is very clear though so if you're an audiophile, you probably won't appreciate these. You'll want to get something else, but you probably already knew that if you are an audiophile. Now, battery life with the AirPods Pro is exactly what Apple claims, about four and a half hours. So four and a half hours with noise cancellation on, a little bit more if it's turned off, but you do have the charge case that comes with it. And this case does charge either wirelessly on a wireless charger, or you can plug it in, but just pop these in here in about 15 minutes you'll have enough charge to keep going for a couple hours so i really don't have an issue with that and i like to take breaks in between anyway i don't want to keep anything in my ear that long normally so most of the times they're fine with that but this will give you 24 hours of total charging so just keep that in mind if the case is actually fully charged now of course we need to talk about price and the price is pretty steep at about 250 dollars and that for that price, well, you can't really get the Bose Quiet Comfort over the ear headphones unless you find them on a sale, but there are other options out there. But the difference is the convenience. These just work so seamlessly with your iPhone, your iPad, your iPod Touch, or even your MacBook or Mac or whatever you have that it's really difficult to go to anything else. I just find them 
I just find popping them in my ear to use them regularly is really what I normally do because they're just easy to use. Pop them in my ear, connect them to my Mac, and I'm editing. And then I can hear what most people are using, AirPod style headphones, and if the audio is good there, it's going to be good for most people. So for the convenience, if you are willing to spend the $250, I definitely recommend picking them up. If you don't want to spend that much and you want some noise canceling headphones, there are definitely better and cheaper options out there but the convenience is very hard to beat. And then finally is the look. I don't think they look amazing or anything like that. I never thought AirPods looked good to begin with, but they're not really a fashion statement. They're more of convenience in my opinion. So if they work well, I don't care what they look like. I care that they work. And that's really what I'm more concerned about. Now I have used the Samsung Galaxy Buds and while these do sound okay, they are nowhere near as comfortable as the AirPods Pro. I've used these to sleep as well. They do work well, but I wouldn't say they're nearly as convenient. Plus the pairing process for the Galaxy Buds versus the AirPods on an iPhone just doesn't make sense, but if you're on a Samsung phone, then of course these will work. Now your AirPods will work with other phones, Windows laptops, anything that's Bluetooth compatible, but they work even better when you're on a Mac or an iPhone or something like that. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already though, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. And of course I'll leave a, a wallpaper in the description as I always do. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.